what this fest could generally do down to dwell in our I want to see your face. Lift 
up my soul. Look up unto the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help comes from the Lord God, which made heaven and earth. Anxiety. Bye bye. Adios, gringo. Anxiety. Bye. No more anxiety. Cheerio. Bye. Anxiety. You are not my best partner. You are going. Go. Go away. Don't come. But anxiety gone. My God is my God. He is my God. Well able. Amen. God bless you. Thank you really because you all came on for Sunday. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, worship team. Then truly man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth. I, I, I always read the word till I know my day is made. I can go on for the next 18 hours because my day is made. Why is that? Where he authored the key breathing to new stars. 2 Timothy 3.16 The word of God is given by the inspiration of God. He breathed. So whenever you are reading God's word, it should be by yourself. No other sound. In quietness. It would be excellent before the world wakes up. Before you hear other sounds elsewhere. And then you Feel the breath of God. You feel the breath of God. You feel the voice of God. God breathe word. Did you say God breathe word? Press it. God breathe word. Again. God breathe word. Let's confess it. God breathe word. The breath of God comes on. So we that's that's what it means to be more by the Holy Spirit, I quote in Acts 20, verse 22. Oh, bound by the Holy Spirit, bound in the Spirit, more only by the Holy Spirit is the vehicle, is the momentum, is the highway, is the roadmap. You know where you are going. Paul said, I will bound in the Spirit to people where we are going. And that Holy Spirit life provides the moment. God's river rolling in our life. Nothing else can shift us. Nothing else can shift us. If you can't avoid an accident, accelerate. You have a better chance of survival. God forbid that it happens. But if it's going to happen, don't break. What must you do? Accelerate. Because you have created enough momentum to shift the other fellow. And then you can shift. Bit of a bad, brutal example. But the Holy Spirit creates the momentum. And the Holy Spirit is the vehicle. Holy Spirit is the highway. And he's the road man. You will have no fear. In fact, last night while I'm preaching, I saw things like missiles going like that, earth cracking up, and water is flooding, but there was like a spacecraft, the life of the Christian. Will you say life of the Christian? Life of the spirit of the Christian was moving effortlessly, and the leading of the Holy Spirit was such that none of those things were touching him. Paul said, I am told, peril awaits me, tribulation awaits me, none of those things move. So we hear this or that may happen in the world, but none of those things move us, because we are in a momentum with God. What is this momentum when these things begin to happen, all these bad things begin to happen? Look up! Look! Because your redemption draws near. Second coming is our redemption. But second coming is a personal battle for each one of us. It doesn't just happen. You can't just wait You can't 
You will not. Ooh. Okay, back to you. I think the battery is gone. Uh, seven farming is my personal battle. To have the Lord coming with his kingdom rule above and governing all things. Many people think Satan coming will just happen and the whole church will go up. Satan coming of Christ in the world is when is when the your spiritual starts and your armor in the Lord overcomes for you all that is around you. Let me teach the game so that you get the right answer. You see, second coming is the kingdom of Christ coming, not as the babe of Bethlehem, as the king of kings, as the man of the tribe of people, as the Lord of And then as Revelation 11, 15 says, that's the day, the era, the period, when the kingdoms of this world will become the kingdom of our Christ. You say the kingdom of our Christ. And this is a battle. It's a personal battle. Pentecostals really recovered the truth of the second coming. Not only they, all revival movements recovered the truth of the second coming. But they also made this mistake thinking it will just happen. It's a personal battle. He is coming with his armor, with his strength for you. That's why it's a personal view. When these things begin to happen, look up and lift up your heads because your redemption draws in. It's very personal. Put it into your heart. Second coming is very personal. The second advent of Jesus Christ is very personal. It's a personal experience, personal preparation, the conglomeration of it, the addition of it. All these personal preparations of believers becomes a corporate event. That's not what happens. Not by us just waiting. Christ will come and do everything necessary. We have our daily battles. We all come. The daily we read the word of God. Daily we use the word of God as a sword of the spirit. Daily we use the word of God as a shield of faith. Daily we use the word of God as a belt of truth. Belt is so important, you know. Belt divides between the belly and the heart. That's what the belt does. The belt gives you a waistline. If we don't have the belt of truth, our belly will overtake our heart. What does the belly do? Eat. Consume. Belly is for the world. So we have many scriptures that say, don't allow your belly to overtake your heart. He's not in it. For a mess of pottage, he sold his birthright. Don't do that. The belt of truth, which is the word of God you daily read and apply, really keep your, keeps your loin good. You are ready to stand. Whole armor is attached. 